Bailey! Bailey! You have been wearing that shirt since Saturday. For the love of your family who has to smell you, please change it. Come on. Okay. Ready? Okay, let's get this one off. Mommy! I didn't think you'd show up. Yeah, well, I was in the neighborhood. I had to drive the getaway car. What's, uh, what's up? You know, I heard you were taking over the foundation, and I, I called Catherine to get the details. I'm impressed. OK. You needed me to be in the parking lot for you to say that? You know, I lost uh, six roommates when I was being treated for COVID. Three were husbands and fathers. One was uh, one single. One was very happily divorced, and <laughs> um, one came and went so fast, you know, I didn't, I didn't even get a name. I was the only white guy. I know I'm not exactly out of the woods, but I just felt like I owed it to them to be better, you know, because chaos and injustice and pain, and <laughs> the world is only that way because we let it be or because people who look like me made it that way. So what I'm saying, I, uh, let me become worthy of being spared. I want to be an ally. I want to spend whatever time I've got left making this lousy, stinking place better. You, you can use me however you want. I can operate, uh, administrate, uh, hell, I'll even to help you understand how ignorant white people think. I'll do anything. I don't need money. I don't need a big title. You don't even have to stop hating me. <laughs> uh, just, I just, just let me help. Monday, 6 a.m., Boston. I'll email you an address. And yeah, technically I do have space on my jet, but I really don't want to be tempted to fire you before we land, so. I'll figure something out. Good night, Avery. Thank you.